Timmy, I'm new to the IEM world, I'm new to audiophile world, and I only have $500 to buy everything. What should I get? That's the question that we're gonna be answering in this video, stay tuned. Hey friends, Timmy, welcome back to another video on Giz Audio, and it is noon, it's dead noon, the sun is blazing down, my eyes are like dying, I really need some sunglasses, or just don't ever film at noon ever again, but gonna do it anyway because, um. I love you guys. All right, so this video is the same as the one I did in the past, but the past one was $300 in budget that's covering both the source and the IEM. So this is for someone who doesn't have anything and all you have is $500 to start. Now, if you already have sources and you have $500 to spend on IEM, I recommend you watch the top five IEMs under $500 for, you know, the best IEMs you can get for $500. This video again is for people who just don't have anything at all and all they have is $500. So starting with the source first. Now, when it comes to sources, I'm really not a big source guy. If you guys wanna know what I use, on a day-to-day -day basis, it is the FIO M11 Plus. This is what I use to test IEMs and evaluate everything. It has a very clean sound. I love this thing. Another thing that I use is the M3X. That one has just great battery life and I use that every day in conjunction with this. And that's really all I use. So I'm not the best person to come for sources. You know, if you ask Timmy, what's the best dab? What's the best dongle? What's the best this? I really can't give you the best answer, but I do have someone who can. His name is Andy, he's a very good guy and he has this article on dongles. It's called the Dongle Madness where he ranks 100 or I think a little bit over 100 different dongles that are on the market today. It is the most comprehensive dongle article you can ever read. So if you want dongle or source recommendation, that's the article to read. I'll link that one down below and thank you Andy for all of your hard work. One thing I will say in regards to sources is that don't spend more than 20, 25% of your budget on sources because as much as sources can change the sound, the biggest player that affects the sound the most is gonna be the IEM or the headphones or the speakers themselves, all right? Sources, cables, uh, tips, all those things can change sound, some more than others, but still very small percentage in comparison to just simply getting a better IEM or just switching IEM all together. So the biggest part of your budget should definitely be spent on IEMs rather than sources. So go to Andy's list, go to Dongle Madness, pick out your favorite sources. Just don't spend more than 20-25% of your budget. In this case, it's around $150, let's say. $150 Go source of sources, no more than that. If you want my recommendation for sources under 150, I only recommend the BTR5 by FIO because that's the only one I have experience with. And that one is fantastic. It has enough power to power pretty much anything I throw at it. So I've always had a good time with that product. And there's a 2021 version of that product out with MQA support versus the old one without MQA support. Now with all of that out of the way, let's finally get into the IEMs. Now I have quite a few sets for you guys to explore here. Some of them are just one off, meaning that you use your whole entire budget for one IEM. Some of them are like a pair where you use your whole entire 350 for two different IEMs with two kind of different signatures to give you more variety in your listening. Maybe you don't want just one sound, you want two different sounds. That's also an option. So first, let's go over all the one-off options that I recommend for you guys. So $350, what can you get for just one IEM that is very, very good? So first one here that I'm gonna introduce is gonna be just, for me, the best option for under $350, under $400. But there's one problem with it is that the fit is really not for everyone. The IEM is pretty big. And for some people with smaller ears, they do find that it gets painful over time but if the fit fits you good this IEM is really in a league of its own and this is of course the blessing to dust i don't think i need to say too much about this IEM anymore i've talked a lot about it it's very clean very well tuned the bass to the mid-range separation is good bass power is also nice you get a lot of texture here lots of details in the bass the slam the hits everything feels impactful because it does have a dynamic driver which helps a lot with the bass presence overall into the mid-range you get a really nice kind of natural clean mid-range male vocals and female vocals vocals are relatively uncolored. They sound real and natural, just like, you know, real vocalists should sound onto the treble. Now, while not being the best part 
about the IEM. It is decently done enough. I personally would like a little bit more trouble extension, just a little bit more energy, a little bit more sparkle. But all that said, it is very inoffensive. It has enough energy for most and it's never gonna be fatiguing in any way. So yes, that was Blessing 2 Dust, one of my favorite options under 400. The next option is gonna be more for someone who work, more for someone who plan on using their IEMs for a very, very extended amount of hours every single day. For myself, I'm a video editor, so I'm on the computer like four or five hours every single day. If you plan on using your IEMs for that extended amount of time, then comfort has to be one of your biggest consideration because if it's not comfortable, you ain't gonna use it. I don't care how good it sounds. If it's not comfortable, you're not gonna use it. And this next one is superbly comfortable while not sacrificing any sound quality for the price. This one is the Sennheiser IE300. Now I have two different work set. I have the Sony M7, if you guys already know that one. I talked about that one a lot, but that one is a little bit more expensive. It's $500. It is better than the IE300 overall. Still, both are very comfortable, but this, it's only $300 and the best part about this is that you can even get it for less if you find it on sale or you find it secondhand. You can grab this for as low as sometime $200, which is fantastic deal for an IM like this. Now, the selling point of these is really the comfort. You can wear these for hours. You can wear them and forget they exist. That's how comfortable they are. Sound changer wise, it is a V shape. So very mainstream. It has a bass focus, not so much on the mid range, but the bass here doesn't really kind of hinder the mid range in any way. It's relatively well tuned for a V shape IEM with great detail retrieval to boot. So yes, IE300 great set if comfort is your number one thing and sound quality of course again not sacrifice the last option for one-off iem would be this guy right here tons gym oxygen now this just has a very very fun bass presence there's a lot of mid bass in here and it's strong it's forward while at the same time again super duper clean mid-range the vocals on here male vocals mid-range instruments the strings female vocals they all come to life in a natural way it's just really 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 well done single dynamic driver i am right here tantium oxygen is just extremely impressive the detail retrieval on this is a little bit better than the ie 300 while being a little a bit short of the blasting two dust so it lands right in between those two but the tuning on this is again it's just gonna be really nice and natural while being extremely fun with the bass at the same time so yes tons gym oxygen love this thing great one-off option to go with any source all right lastly i have two pairs of iams for you guys the first pair is what i would like to call the fun pair the fun set there's two iams here both are relatively the same price one is 169 and one is 159 so all together still stays under the budget that we set for ourselves the first one here is the newest edition i've not talked about this one on the channel ever before but it is really good this one is the kb ear Aurora. It is another V-shape IEM and a very well done one at that. The bass here is the first thing you're going to notice. If you love bass, if you're a bass head, then this bass should catch your attention right away. There's good bass texture in here, meaning that there's good bass details, there's good bass power. Overall, again, that is the main selling point of this IEM. Into the mid-range though, it has the typical V-shape mid-range, meaning that the male vocals is going to be a little bit behind, female vocals instruments all those things are going to be a little bit behind female vocals less so than the male vocals and all the other mid-range instruments but that's just the typical FedEx truck but that's just the typical v-shape mid-range it's not really going to be focused on you know the vocals or the intimacy of those uh, instruments v-shape IEMs are more focused on the fun the bass and the treble and speaking of the treble this thing has good treble extension just Good treble extension, nothing to complain. It's non fatiguing, no siblings whatsoever, while having just enough energy for it to be fun alongside the heavy bass element that does have. The best part about this IEM, or one of the best part about this IEM for me is the details. For 169, it has relatively good details. Like I'm surprised what this can pull out of itself for the price that it's at. So yes, KB ear, you struck the winner. 169, very good. 
Next, I am to go with your KB ear because that one's 169. So you have some money left over for another pair of IEMs. And this one is if you want even more bass, if the KB ear does not satisfy you enough and you want even more bass, you want rumbly sub bass, you just want bass that shatters your brain while still keeping the same level of details as the KB ear, if not slightly bit better than the KB ear. This one is the Ico OH-10. It is a bass monstrosity. It's, just, it's really, really strong while at the same time, again, relatively clean. Now, not the clean kind of sound like Oxygen or Blessing 2 does. It's not that clean. It does bleed a bit, but at the same time, it's nothing that is too obnoxious or it's not muddied. It's not bloated in any way like that. This one's going to be more focused again on the bass region, more so the sub bass than the mid bass. It's just bass heaven. If you love bass, you're just gonna love this. Ico OH-10, great pairing with the KB ear. The KB ear is gonna be more well-rounded, while the Ico OH-10 is just gonna give you that extra bit of fun if you need it. All right, the last set of IEMs. These two are gonna be very different in sound signature, and this is for someone who's looking for the variety, right? The variety. Now, this first one in the set is gonna be BA Audio Legacy 4. Now this is a vocal focus IEM. It has really, really superb mid-range, good clean mid-range, good clean upper mid-range with good energy as well. Not a lot of bass, so not for bass head whatsoever. If you want bass, don't go for this. This is like vocal intimacy, female vocal forwardness and all that, right? Just mid-range in general is gonna sound great off of the Legacy 4. Detail Retrieval as well is no slouch on this. It's really solid for $200. Just one of the best set you can get for $200 in general. This thing made it into my under $200 list. So you can check that one out if you want the full what you can get under $200. But yes, DA Audio Legacy 4. If you're into vocal centric genres of music, if that's what you want, this is one of the best under $200. Now, the IEM to pair with that is gonna be the complete opposite of it, which is a good thing or a bad thing. If you're new to IEM in general and you want to do some research, then you would get two different sound signatures, right? And these two cannot be more different. This next one is the FIO FH3. Now, this thing is a V-shape that has a lot of bass, a lot of sub bass and a lot of treble. So you can get a lot of sparkle, a lot of energy, a lot of rumbly sub bass, wider sound stage which is also really nice the one caveat to this is that the mid range is just not going to be as good it's not going to be as natural it is a bit colored but it's going to be a lot of fun to listen to this because it's a lot of bass again and a lot of treble so very fun mainstream sound signature with nice decent wide sound stage complete contrast to legacy 4 which just focus a lot on the mid range and upper mid range not so much in the bass and not so much in the treble so yes these two again complete opposite but if you want to do your research into what sound signature fits you most then you have to get two different sound signatures to get you know the best kind of feel to what you would like. All right, with all the IAMs out of the way, you might notice that with some sets or some one-off IAMs, you have a little bit of money left over, some $50, $60, $70 left over. What do you do with that? Now, if you really want to take your IAM experience to the next level, you can get yourself quite a few things. You can get yourself, again, one better source. If you want to invest more into source, you can do that. You can get yourself some really good tips. My favorite is the S Cenefit. I really have a hard time pronouncing that, but that's my favorite set of tips ever. They're just really grippy, they're sticky, but they isolate really well. Another thing you can do is to upgrade cables. Yes, and why would you want to upgrade cables? For me, one of the reasons that I would consider upgrading the cable is if the cable that came with the IEMs just suck. For example, I go OH-10. The cable is the worst. I don't like the cable on the OH-10 at all. They're just, you know, weird rubbery feeling. They tangle very easily. I just don't like this at all. Now this, I would buy an upgrade cable for if I really, really use this IEM every day. And one upgrade cable that I suggest for you guys is gonna be the new one from Canera. Canera Lay Ding. Now this one is $69, which falls really in line with what you have left after buying some of these sets of IEM. So this is a great one. It's beautiful. It's really nicely constructed as well heavy and the best part is it comes with interchangeable terminations so yes 2.5 3.5 4.4 
all that for $69. So yes, just fantastic deal in general. And especially if you're planning on upgrading your sources to have 2.4 or 4.4 balance output in the future, you're covered with this for just $69. And you get a very beautiful, well-constructed cable to go with it. So yes, highly recommend this, the lading. All right, guys, that's all we have to talk about today. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Why not? You made it this far already. I release video very, very, very regularly on this channel so more content coming to you two, three times every single week. I also have a Facebook group. If you want to see all these videos early before anyone else, you can join it. Link is down below. And also what's down below as well is my I am ranking list. You can check that out as well. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.